What is Candle's tau? Candle's tau is a correlation coefficient and is thus a measure of the relationship between two variables. But what is the difference between Pearson correlation and Candle's rank correlation? In contrast to Pearson correlation, Candle's rank correlation is a non-parametric test procedure. Thus, for the calculation of Candle's tau, the data need not to be normally distributed and the two variables need only have ordinal scale levels. Exactly the same is true for the Spearman rank correlation, right? Candle's tau is very similar to Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. However, Candle's tau should be preferred over Spearman's correlation if very few data with many rank ties are available. But how is Candle's tau calculated? We can calculate Candle's tau with this formula, where C is the number of concordant pairs and D is the number of discordant pairs. What are concordant and discordant pairs? We will now go through this with a simple example. Suppose two doctors are asked to rank six patients according to their physical health. One of the doctors is now defined as a reference and the patients are sorted from one to six. Now the sorted ranks are matched with the ranks of the other doctor. E.g. the patient who is in third place with the reference doctor is in fourth place with the other doctor. Now using Candle's tau we want to know if there is a correlation between the two ratings. For the correlation of Candle's tau we only need these ranks. We now look at each individual rank and note whether the values below are smaller or greater than itself. So we start at the first rank 3, 1 is smaller than 3 so gets a minus, 4 is greater so gets a plus, 2 is smaller so it gets a minus, 6 is greater so gets a plus and 5 is also greater so it also gets a plus. Now we do the same for 1. Here of course each subsequent rank is greater than 1. So we have a plus everywhere. At rank 4, 2 is smaller and 6 and 5 are greater. Now we do this for rank 2 and rank 6. Then we can easily calculate the number of concordant and discordant pairs. We get the number of concordant pairs by counting all the plus. In our example we have 11 plus in total. We get the number of discordant pairs by counting all the minus. In our example we have a total of 4 minus. C is thus 11 and D is 4. Candle's tau now is 11 minus 4 divided by 11 plus 4.